Hi guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Musak's New World Empire channel. Of course, my name is Vera Sachs. And guess what? Today is our piano class, and your teacher is in the house. His name remains Danny Keys. All right, guys, today he just wants to show you how to play a pedro on the piano. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Hello guys, hello viewers. It's me again. I'm Daniel George, um, a music teacher from um, Mossack's New World Empire. Today, I'm going to be teaching us what arpeggio is all about. I need you guys to follow me closely. In our previous classes for the um, beginners, we already know our chord inversions. We already know our chord inversions. And um, now today, I'm going to be teaching... Um, the arpeggios because this arpeggios helps a lot also when we when we end songs and I'm, i'll be giving examples from playing songs and see how i apply arpeggios to the songs too now um from um the key of c which we'll be talking about today like we all know that's diatonic skill for the key of c what makes up the arpeggio is your your one, your three, and your five, okay? So you play it slowly. Now, if I'm to invert this for the arpeggio, don't forget I told you, if I'm to invert it, your root now comes to your third. Now, if I'm to invert this, your root now comes to your fifth. So these are pages. Now, we are going to the next chord, which is your two, right? That's your first. The next, you're starting with this note. I'll play the low octave, right? Now the last inversion for this is that's your inversion for your chord two. Now for your chord three, which is right. Now the, your your inversion for this chord is now for the second inversion for your chord three. Now we start from your what? Right? Sorry. I play that again. Now your last inversion now starts from where? Now, for your chord four, which is this, your first inversion on the lower octave, your first inversion. Now, your second inversion, sorry, yes, your second inversion for this chord. Now, your fifth chord, which is your And so on. Now your for your second inversion. Now for the third inversion, which is the last. Okay. Now um for our sixth chord, which is our the la right. The arpeggio. Second inversion. And um, the third inversion. Now 
Now back to our roots, which is our first chord. Okay. Now, after knowing all that, I need you to take time, practice them slowly before you get fast. If possible, if you can work with a metronome, you can try and work with a metronome because it helps your um, precision and your dexterity. Okay. Now, I'm going to make an example. I'm going to play a song and I'm going to end with an arpeggio. And I'll play maybe arpeggios severally on the song. That's my foot. That's an arpeggio I played on my foot. If you see that. But I added my fifth. So that's just a difference. But it's still my foot. And definitely you can play them with your both hands. You can play them with your both hands. So I'll play that again. So definitely, let's say you're in church and maybe we all know what talk music is. Let's say your pastor might be saying one or two words and you could just play something like this. All right. Now that's an arpeggio. Or... Right? That's my fifth. So I'll play it again. I play for the last time. So I'll play it from the top. So you had a difference there. Now the difference there is now the difference there is my seventh, right? Or my sixth, rather. I added a sixth to it. I added a sixth, which is this. So this is what make up what make up the chord. Right? But I added this. So it will now sound like this. So this is an arpeggio for your fifth. So the previous one was the one for the fourth. I repeat this one for the last time. Right? I'm going to play um, on um, an arpeggio on um, a different chord. Let's say um, our first chord, which is your, all right? So let's say we're playing something like. So you can easily end songs like this. You might have heard a lot of songs where they end like this. After something like. Slow that down. Now, if you look at this, yes, it is my first, but what inversion is this? This is the third inversion of my roots, which is your, your C major chord. Because I'm starting from my fifth. So instead of this, so I made it this, and I added my second. Like I added my second, right? So this is different from So adding my second helps in the drive So you feel much comfortable when you drive Okay? Instead of Now 
Um, listen, when I add my second, so the, the spaces are filled up already. All right, so this is all for your arpeggios. You can learn it on other chords, you know, learn your inversions and work on your arpeggios. Don't forget, start, or maybe possibly if you can work with a metronome, it will help very well. All right, I remind your um, piano teacher, Daniel, from um, Musak's Music World Empire Music Academy. Wow, that class was a bomb. Man, this channel, you must learn something. Oh. This channel, you must learn something. And guys, for those of you that are watching me right now, you've not subscribed. Hmm. It's a sin. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. And share this good news to your friends, your your families, anybody at all, just share it to them. And for those of you that want to enroll on um, classes, like one-on-one -on -one or group classes, you can start enrolling right now because we are ready for you. See you next week. Bye.